Hey, Blessings Prayer Warriors. God bless you on this Tuesday, July 18th. I pray that it'll be a great day for you. Just a quick question, if you can put in comments. I just want to make sure the prayer type that I put together is what you guys are enjoying doing. Basically reading one scripture, basically looking at an, a nation to pray for, basically looking at a couple states in the United States, and then our prayer, and then praying for the world and whatever else the Holy Spirit leads us to. Remember, we only have five minutes, two minutes of yapping, five minutes of prayer. So if you have some suggestions, you want to put it on comments there, go right ahead. If something you feel is not really uh, apropos, go ahead and jot it on there too. Amen? All right, so today... Being the 18th of July, our Bible reading is from Acts 21, verses 1 through 16. Paul is given great warnings here, and he, has, he obeys the Spirit of God. Can you imagine being warned of different things by the Spirit of God? Go here, don't go there, on and on. Today, our nation that we're praying for is Russia, a population of 142,000 people. Evangelical Christians, only 1.4%. They're on world map number 93. I believe Russia covers 11 time zones, if I'm not mistaken. We cover four, so they cover 11, the, the size of it. And it says, we ask for prayers for those preaching to people serving prison sentence. Some brothers have the desire to regularly conduct spiritual work in prisons to preach, distribute literature, and serve. While they are seeking permission from the authorities, they need our support in prayer. Amen. Amen. The states that we're praying for today, number 23 and 24, Arkansas, 3 million population, 46% evangelical Christians. Louisiana, 4.6 million population. 27% evangelical Christian. And then our prayer focus today is liberty and freedom. Amen. Let's go ahead and pray today. Father God, as we start each day, we start with praise to you. We thank you for this new day. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. From the rising of the sun to the time that it goes down, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Oh, I've enjoyed in these thunderstorms that we've had that I've been seeing so many rainbows, spectacular rainbows. And I just say, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The rainbow that you made for your children, Lord, to give us a covenant promise that you would never destroy the earth by a flood again. There would never be a whole world flood, a universal flood. And we thank you, thank you for that. We know that the judgment that's going to come on the world will be with fire, but we won't be down here for that. We'll be up there with you. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we lift up the nation of Russia, and I think of the work of uh, Good, New Ch Good News Church, Pastor Rick Renner, and the great work that he's doing, Lord, in Moscow. His son has a church now there also. And they're reaching out to this community in many ways, Lord, helping the poor, the elderly, preaching the gospel. Their church is packed out, and it's exciting to see. Well, here they're asking, Father, for prayer that this group can go into prisons and share the gospel and distribute literature. Lord, when we had a brother in prison, he said, hey, send books. I'm in charge of the library here. And right now, down in South Jersey, there's tons of books from Christian Faith Fellowship Church. In fact, the, the, the leader there, whoever he was in charge, said, you guys got to cut it out. There's too many books being sent. Oh, Lord, we thank you for that opportunity. And we thank you for every opportunity that opens up. But we pray for Russia today. We pray for our world today. We do lift up Israel. We see what's going on on the border with Lebanon there, Lord. And they're just... Mm, mm, mm. Israel having to go into Bethlehem to capture that person that, that attacked those Jewish uh, settlers, Lord. 
What a what 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 a world we live in, Lord. This little little piece of land. They can't even let the Jews have that. But Lord, that's okay. You promised Abraham that land and so much more. How that's going to be fulfilled, we don't know, but our eyes are upon you. We lift up our world before you. We lift up this United States of America. Today we pray for Arkansas and Louisiana. And we pray, I think of uh, Joel, um, Joel Stockstill down in Louisiana. Great work there, Lord. And other works that are going on in these states, Lord. We thank you for your word going forth. We lift up our country. We pray for those that are in authority, Lord. We bind up the evil. We slow them down. And Father, we pray for the godly, Lord. Use them, we pray. Strengthen them. Encourage them. Help them, Lord, in this very dark culture that we live in today. Now, Lord, we lift up liberty and freedom throughout our nation and our world, Lord. So many people have no freedom to, to share the gospel. They'll be thrown in jail or many are even hung in nations for trying to convert someone, Lord. We pray for liberty and freedom. And we pray that while we're still on this earth, while we're still living here in the United States of America or whatever nation you might be from, we pray that liberty will continue and freedom will continue until that trumpet sounds, and then it's going to be a different animal. We know that, Lord. Father, now we lift up the prayer cards that have come in on Sunday and the prayer requests, Lord. We lift up Isolina's mom and what's going on there. We lift up Judy Perota and what's ever going on there. We lift up uh, Judy, uh, Frank, and Cindy, and others that are battling things in their bodies, Lord. And we pray for healing. And Father, we also pray for our elderly, Lord. Father, sometimes we just, that will to live goes on and on. But I just believe that some, Lord, are, are done with their work here and that they can just go to sleep one night and just be in your presence. No hardness in it at all, just to, to be with the Lord, which is far greater. When the Apostle Paul came to the end of his time, he said, I have run the race. I have finished my course. Now there is laid up for me a crown in heaven, crown of righteousness, which the Lord himself would give to me and to everyone that longs for his appearance. Lord, I long for your appearance. We are looking up. We're living in warp speed days. Scripture is being fulfilled. Our redemption is drawing nigh. Hallelujah. So we pray over the prayer needs, Lord, and we thank you, Father, for needs being met. Now we praise you and thank you again for this new day. We thank you, Lord. I thank you for each and every person that's with me today. So many have been with me from day one to think that we have not missed a day now since COVID started. How many years? I don't even know. But boy, we've been going at it, Lord. I thank you for new ones that have joined with us, people sharing, inviting others, and that we can grow this prayer ministry. And Lord, I know this is just five minutes here, but I believe it's a spark to get us going on in the rest of our day or our next day, Lord. And I thank you for that. Blessings upon your people today, Lord. I thank you that you have made us the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath, that in all our ways and endeavors, that we are greatly blessed, highly favored, deeply loved, that we are blessed to be a blessing, Lord. Use us to be a blessing today, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Hey, God is good, amen. We serve the risen Savior. Everything proves that he is alive, that he is a God of love, that he loves us. He's coming soon. The heavens declare the glory of our Lord. That's like those rainbows, that sun in the storm, on and on. He's a wonderful God. Love him, serve him, do all you can for the kingdom of God, because great is going to be our reward. God bless you. Have an awesome Tuesday. Amen. God bless.